former GOP candidate, now a Trump supporter, Dr. Ben Carson. Good morning, Dr. Carson. Good morning and, and happy so, Memorial Day. Thank you. Same to you. Uh, so Bill Kristol, who once predicted that Marco Rubio would win the New Hampshire primary and once predicted that uh, Barack Obama would not beat Hillary Clinton in a single primary state, now says that an independent candidate with a good record is going to come on and run. Is there anybody out there who would be more impressive than the crop of Republican candidates that have already run this cycle, like yourself? Well, I think what uh, Bill Kristol and many others like him need to recognize is America right now is like a cruise ship that is about to go off of Niagara Falls with tremendous carnage and death. What you have to do first is recognize the problem, stop the ship, turn it around, and then move in the other direction. They want to push a button and all of a sudden it's all of that's done. We have to make progress. And, and remember this, you know, a quarter of a century ago, uh, another Clinton was running for the White House, and it was the entrance of a third-party candidate, Ross Perot, that made it possible for him to win. Right. Now, wouldn't it be ironic if the same thing happened mm -hmm. again this time? Wouldn't we be smart to be able to learn from things that have happened in the past? Well, you know, of course, the Does never it Trump... Does not matter who the candidate is? True, but then, you, of course, you have what Gary Johnson is going to be joining us on the show a little bit later, former New Mexico governor. He just got the libertarian nod, and, and, and uh, that could also hurt Donald Trump's chances of getting into the White House. Have you heard, I mean, Mitt Romney, uh, we've been obviously hearing the courting between Bill Kristol and Mitt Romney. Have you heard anything? Do you know who this potential third-party candidate will be? Uh, you know, I've heard rumors uh, like everyone else has. But I'm, I'm hoping that whoever that third party candidate is will just stop for a moment and think about what the implications are of allowing Hillary Clinton or someone like her to get in there and they get two to four Supreme Court picks and completely change the nature of this country and destroy the prospects for their children and their grandchildren to have the same opportunities that they had. They need to think about the big picture and stop worrying about their petty little differences. Stop the ship and then we'll turn it around and then we'll move it in the other direction. It's not all going to happen in one fell swoop. Okay, Dr. Carson, while we have you here, since you're on the inside there, um, there was a report in the New York Times out this week saying there was some infighting going on with the Trump campaign. Paul Manafort and Corey Lewandowski were apparently pitted against each other. Some sources were telling them they were both on Sunday shows yesterday, said that's not the case. Are there growing pains going on in the Trump campaign as they turn their attention to a general election? Uh, well, what, what is clear is that there, there are individuals uh, who are attempting to create conflict and who are concerned, you know, about their own power. Now, whether they're inside or outside doesn't particularly matter. What we need to be concentrating on is winning the White House again and stopping the, the destruction of our nation. And, and I would appeal to all of those people who are attempting, uh, you know, to create this conflict to stop. We don't need it. But I don't see any terrible thing going on with the people that I'm talking to in the Trump campaign. Okay. Dr. Ben Carson, thank you very much. Okay, a pleasure. All right.